Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. It's not been cold enough for ice to develop on the lakes yet. Water temperatures are really cold and the fish are just not active enough so I haven't bothered going fishing. And while we're waiting for ice I have decided I am going to paint these. I just started doing this yesterday so I'm still learning but it's a lot of fun something to do to pass the time while we wait for ice to develop on the lakes so without further ado let's see what we can do with this guy right here so I went ahead and I taped off a few of these bills here so that we can paint now one thing I've learned in my day or two of doing this so far is um, I like to coat all of these with a base uh, opaque white. Now, one thing I've learned is changing uh, paint in the in the airbrush is kind of a pain in the butt. So I've already went ahead and taped off four, and I'm going to put a base coat of opaque white on all five of these baits, and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. ahead and sprayed up all those square bills with some opaque white it just helps the other colors kind of uh, pop through um, and stick to something other than straight plastic it gives them just a better look now what are we gonna make out of this I figure today um, let's make a kind of a good spring type craw type bait but not so much a craw but a good springtime red and we'll see uh, how it turns out. So we're gonna go with these three, just three colors here, minus the um, the base coat of white. So let's get the gun loaded up and um, start. Let's start with the um, let's start with the orange. One thing I learned too: this paint goes a long way. So just a couple of drops will uh, pretty much do it. Um, cause what I'm going to do, you know, let's get one more drop in there. Um, I'm just going to try to keep the bottom half of this orange and maybe along the belly and kind of like the lateral line there, we're going to keep orange and then we're going to come back over with some red on the top. So let's, uh, let's do that. I can go over that lateral line a little bit because I'm going to come back over with the red. Let's get a little more paint. I don't. Let's get this good and bright. Okay, I think I need a couple more drops in there. Rookie mistake. Very much a rookie mistake there for sure. Still learning. There we go. So we'll get up on the cheeks a little bit there. And we're gonna get this nice and orange. And all the way down along that lateral line. Let's turn it this way. Oops. Okay. Next thing we do is take a hair dryer. Just uh, dry that with a hair dryer. Okay. Now, since we're just going to go with the red. I'm not going to worry about cleaning the brush out. 
um, because I kind of want a little bit of the that to kind of mix together um, and make I don't know we'll see what it makes again we're just gonna I'll put about three we'll go four drops because we want this nice and bright I want to use a lot of paint here layer it up nicely um, okay let's uh, start here and just kind of start along the back here and hopefully it kind of spreads down a little bit and kind of blends in with that orange that's what we're going to hope for so we're going to go like this and then we'll let that overspray get down into that orange so far that's what we've got a little bit of red and orange look to it and red along the top right now we're going to get this wrapped up with this and i got this at walmart this is just a uh, fl floral pattern and i think it's got some glitter in it too so let's get some of that out but let's get this wrapped up and then we're going to come over the top of this with a with a black so let's get this nice and tight let's get it right there let's roll it down there let's get it nice and tight that looks good there let's get one right here in the middle right away to hold that in there let's get one in the back here that nice and tight and let's get one right here get that nice and tight right there okay now that we have that done let's go ahead and load up some black in the gun okay we got this all wrapped up nice and tight I'm not so worried about this front section here because I'm gonna come back in and probably darken the eyes and darken the face a little bit on the cheeks so now what we're gonna do is just take a uh, we're gonna take a opaque black and kind of run through this um, through this mesh and it should give it a neat little pattern so let's take a couple drops of the opaque black let's get a good two or three drops in there let's go four four for the win let's go ahead and kind of I'm gonna try to keep it on shooting one way here learn this technique from a couple of people kind of gives it more of a shadow look to it instead of pushing paint right at it so let's uh do it right here let's just give it a go and i'm gonna go light if i can come back in and darken that off the top later i'm gonna darken those up before i put eyes in so let's uh see what they look like here let's get right around the face because like I said I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a look at what that looks like if I go nice and dark on the top with with that pattern and then before you take any of this stuff off I've learned to get this good and dry because you don't want to peel off any paint that you already uh, that you put on there so let's get this good and dry okay as I dried that I'm thinking to myself why not come back over the top with a real light pearlized white and I'll go real light with it kind of give it a little bit of a, a light sheen to it possibly I'm not sure this pearlized stuff has a little bit of um, metal flake I think in it it gives it kind of a shinier look to it and when you put the clear coat on it should pop that out a lot better so we're going to try just a little bit of this pearlized white again i'm just pretty much learning how to do this but this is going to be real light let's get the brush cleaned up and uh and we'll go with the pearlized white i don't know let's try from the back and maybe that'll create a little bit of a shadow kind of spray it towards the other way as i came down the top last time it'll give it maybe a little bit of a shadowy sheen i don't know yeah, I'm still learning, so let's just do this. OK, 
Okay, I think what I'm going to do is kind of get this dried and then maybe come a little bit on the bottom with the, with the remaining bit of that white. I think that might give a little bit like right along the belly. So let's get this dried so we can pull this off again. You want that very dry before you pull that off of there so you don't pull away any paint. So let's get this dried up. Okay, that's good and dry. Let's see what we got here. Take these off very carefully. We want to kind of roll this off. What I've learned is kind of roll it off and so you don't lose any of the uh, paint. And there you have it. Look at that. That's kind of a neat, uh, neat look to it. Let's get the gun cleaned up and we'll go in and just kind of darken around the eyes and darken maybe a little bit along the face. So let's uh, shoot back a little bit here, very lightly. See if I can't get a little bit around the eyes. Just kind of darken those eyes in a little bit, darken the face up a little bit, and then just a little bit around the eyes. I don't know if you can see that or not. And bottom, I'm going to keep that way, but you can see I kind of darken the, the eyes up and the face. Okay, this guy's ready for some eyes. There you have it, just your basic um, kind of a springtime. It, you know, it'll kind of resemble a craw with a little bit of a different twist to it. So another thing I'm going to be doing to these, just so I know... That I made these. Let's put. Uh, let's go ahead and sign. Put my initials on there, like so. So there we go. Kind of the finished product. So let's think here. Let's give this one away to anybody who goes to my Facebook page and likes RPB fishing. Also comment down below. Um, I'll take one of the commenters and then uh, we'll give it like a week or two and I will give this one away obviously it'll be clear coated I'll have some hooks on there and I'll give this one away um, if you comment down below what we should name it then we will uh, I'll give this one away all right hopefully you enjoy these videos again comment down below what I should name this pattern and uh, I will give it away to a random commenter in a couple of weeks. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see ya.